Hi, this is Scott McKinley with Universal Accounting. We have Roger Connect with us as well. Hi there. We would like to talk about something that we, we hear from time to time coming from students, and that is that either A, they are not making their successes happen fast enough. They're, they're, they're getting frustrated because they're not achieving their goals, and B, they are almost too ambitious, and so it's almost as if they're setting themselves up for failure. What can we say to students that might find themselves in either one of those positions? My first words of advice would be to step back and accept a lot of the positives that are going on in your life and reassess really what types of goals you have. If you're too ambitious, sometimes you're letting outside influences dictate what kind of successes you need to have. A good example of that may be you're in a situation you need, let's say, $3,000 a month to be living, and you feel as if, okay, this month I need $3,000. Well, maybe that's 10 clients for you or whatever. Well, if it were 10 clients, let's say, as an example, and you've gotten two or three that month, generally that should be a success, but you're saying, I didn't get my $3,000, I've gotten $1,000 this month. Well, next month you may have that much more success and you make 2000 and the following month 3000 but the problem was is back at month one, you were frustrated because you were dealing with 1000 as opposed to 3000 which you needed to live on. And what my point is, point is with all of this is sometimes we're very ambitious, not because of our own drive, but because of outside influences. And let, let's be realistic and understand that as you're growing your business, it will grow over time. And we're looking for things not tomorrow, but we're looking out in the future as to what it can provide to us long term. Okay. Uh, in scenarios like this, a lot of times the common feeling that business owners have is that they're overworked mm -hmm. and underpaid. So what can we say about that? Excellent. The, the question is, is what advice would you give to your clients if they were saying those very words to you? I'm overworked. I, I'm, I, I wear too many hats. Well, the first thing that we would suggest is outsource. What is it that you're maybe doing that you shouldn't be doing? Maybe there's something that needs to be done by someone else that's, in all honesty, probably someone you could pay for a little bit less than what you're paying yourself. The big thing here is, is what can you do that you do well that you're an expert at and what could you have somebody else do that maybe they're an expert at and that'd be the first piece of advice but also speak to a coach talk to your coaches call here at Universal Accounting Center and talk this through oftentimes just in that conversation we can give advice on what we've seen others do that have helped them stay focused in their business and continue to move forward okay what about when you trip what about when something happens that just seems like it's going to be a disaster do you, you know what do you give up no life happens I, I hate to admit it, but everyone here has struggles and at different times. I, I might be struggling when you're doing great and vice versa. So the point is, is what we need to do is just realize that life will happen, things will come up, and we need to work through them. The one piece of advice I would give you is let's learn from yesterday, let's plan for tomorrow, but let's live in today. Enjoy it, seize the moment, take advantage of the opportunities that present themselves, rise to the occasion, and become that expert that you are. You have every right to what it is you're working for. You have every right to achieve success, and I encourage you to do it. You deserve success. Great words. Thanks for watching today. Remember, guys, if it's about accounting, it's universal. And accounting success is universal. Have a great day. See you later.